Hey guys, it's great to be back, um, and as you can tell, I've got a few patriotic streamers around here, um, happy Veterans Day, which technically was yesterday, and I've actually had these decorations up in my room since Halloween, if you can believe it. Mary will know what I'm talking about, but now they're finally relevant. Anyway, today, I chose the topic for this week, and that topic is... Tell us about your passions. And well, I have one true passion in my life that I'm going to share with you. And no, it is not Homestuck. It's fencing. So here we go. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna wear my fencing jacket just because it makes me feel like an athlete. Of course, that is because I am one. Fencing is in fact a sport. Despite what people will tell you, it is extremely athletic. We are not just waving swords around. Well, I'll tell you a few basics. Um, there are three weapons. Uh, there's foil, epee, and saber. I personally fence saber, which, in my opinion, is the best weapon. Foil is one of the classic weapons. That is a point weapon where the point is to stab the other person. Uh, but they only have a certain target area, which is the, like the chest, it's like basically a vest that goes like down and you kind of like step through it. It looks almost like a one-piece bathing suit. <sighs> Weird, I know, but bear with me. Um, so yeah, basically you can have on-target and off-target, and which makes it one of the most annoying and technical weapons to fence. Epe, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. There are pretty much no rules, aside from don't actually kill your opponent and don't purposefully hurt them. You can attack them anywhere on their body, and they can attack you anywhere on your body. And that weapon is also a point weapon, so you want to stick them with the pointy end. It also has a large guard around the hand, which is how you can tell it apart from a foil. And it is much heavier and requires more force to press down the tip, and there's a button on the tip that registers a touch. Finally, we get to Saber, which is the best weapon. This is actually the weapon you might have heard the most about from the Olympics. Um, it requires a great deal of athleticism, and pretty much you have to get the other person on a target area as well. However, this target area includes the head and basically everything above the waist. So, it makes it a little more difficult, but a little easier than foil. <laughs> the other thing is, a saber is a blade weapon, which means that along the entire length of the blade, anything that you hit them with counts. The U.S. Olympic team did a great job this summer. We had a lot of finishers in the top eight, especially in women's and men's saber, which, of course, I was following the most. Um, but, in fact, we did get a medal this Olympics, and that was for the women's epee team, which is super exciting! And now I guess I'll uh, shamelessly promote myself by showing you a video of me fencing. Warning, I'm not really that good. It was also our first tournament, well, our first official tournament of the season. So, there you go. And see you next week.